Hello students, today we will be discussing the topic speaking skills. So my topic for today is pronunciation, enunciation and vocabulary. So all these three come under speaking skills. So to know this, first let us know what is speaking skills. Speaking skills are defined as the skills which allow us to communicate effectively. It gives us the ability to convey information verbally in a way that the listener can understand. So what we speak and what the listener can understand that is nothing but speaking skills. Now there are three core elements in speaking skills. One is volume, clarity and variety. Now what is volume? It is something that is to be heard. When I am talking, I am talking to you in a certain way, in a certain volume. That is nothing but volume. Clarity, an ability for you to understand. I am clear in my speech, that is nothing but clarity. And last is variety, so that the listener has interest in whatever is being spoken. Next, we will go, go to pronunciation. Now, what is pronunciation? In any language, the word spoken is extremely crucial and the learner's ability depends on the same. If the speaker uses the wrong pronunciation, the listener might find it difficult to hear and understand what the speaker is trying to convey. So basically, what is pronunciation? Pronunciation is a way in which a word or a language is spoken, or it is a way in which a sound or a word is uttered. This may be generally agreed upon sequences of sounds used in a speak spoken language or a word in a specific dialect meaning to say everybody has something called as correct pronunciation we have certain words that we refer to as correct pronunciation and there might be some words or there might be some uh, language that you know it depends on a person's uh, social status it depends on the country that he has grown in it depends on the background that he has brought up in so they have a different accent or what we say as different pronunciation so it depends on that now here are a few examples that you can see on the screen of how wrong pronunciation can mislead. Now I am trying to convey something else. The speaker is trying to convey something else. But if in case my pronunciation is wrong or it is incorrect, then it can mislead the listener. The listener, what he is getting through, it can be something different. Or what I am trying to put across, the meaning of that particular sentence might change. So now here is the first example as you can see on the screen. You may find people sleeping on the road and the second one is, the correct one is, you may find people slipping on the road. So you can see the minute change in the pronunciation of sleeping and slipping. So there is a difference in pronunciation. So if I say you can find people sleeping on the road, it is entirely different to what, it, what I actually want to convey. That is, you may find people slipping on the road. Now let, let us have a look at second example. May I borrow your pen, please? I actually want to convey that I want to borrow your pen. May I borrow your pen, please? But if in case the pronunciation of my pen changes, it becomes pain. So it can also come across as may I borrow your pen, please? So if my pronunciation of pen is not correct, so it can again mislead the listeners. And the last example that we have, I expect a full day's salary or full day's salary for this job. What I want to tell is I want to, full, I want to draw a full day's salary for this job. But what I, if in case I pronounce it wrong, then it becomes a full day's salary for this job job so what i am basically trying to say is that pronunciation can mislead so in, in case you're not pronouncing certain words correctly or if my pronunciation is incorrect then it can mislead the listeners so now here are certain practice words for you just have a look at the screen you can see there are five words that are put up you try pronouncing the words first c u c u m b e r I'll give you a minute of time, just sit down with a book and a pen and try to see how you pronounce the word. Try to practice this word and I will tell you the right pronunciation. C-U-C-U-M-B-E-R Did you pronounce the word cucumber or did you pronounce the word cucumber? I have seen a lot of my students pronouncing this word as cucumber, not just my students, but a lot of people around me pronouncing this word as cucumber. But the exact pronunciation is 
cucumber or cucumber it can be american uh, pronunciation or british pronunciation but it is not cucumber cucumber is a wrong pronunciation now let us look at the second word r e c e i p t something that we get when we are paying the bills the, the thing that we get the piece of paper that we get most of us pronounce it as receipt but that's wrong pronunciation the correct pronunciation is receipt where p is silent so it is not receipt it is receipt now let us look at the third word a l a r m most of us have heard people around us pronouncing it as alarm it is not alarm it is alarm alarm or alarm whichever uh, pronunciations that you follow but it is never alarm next w e d n e s d a y do you pronounce it as wednesday or wednesday it is wrong it is wednesday wednesday the last one i r o n you have heard most of them pronouncing it as iron but the correct pronunciation is iron it is iron now let us have a look at three main aspects of pronunciation what are the three main aspects of how we should pronounce a word first one is phonetics second one is word stress and third one is sentence stress now phonetics you are already aware of because ma'am has already explained to you what exactly is phonetics it is nothing but the individual sounds that are there in the language you have already learned the symbols of phonetics and also phonetics so it is nothing but the sounds in a language now what is word stress the syllables in a word and where to add the main accent or a stress now for example if i take the word 13 and 30 the number 13 and 30 if you can notice my pronunciation notice it clearly when i'm pronouncing the word 13 i add the stress on the last four alphabets t e e n so it is 13 i am very clear on the last four alphabets when i am pronouncing the word 30 i am uh, focusing on t h and my pronunciation or there is a throw in my uh, pronunciation or there is a throw in my voice for 30 so it becomes very clear on where i am stressing the word if in case i pronounce 13 as 30 or if the pronunciation is wrong then it can mislead the listener and he can listen to it 13 as nothing but 30 and we let's look at the last point sentence stress sentence stress is nothing but how we pronounce words when we put them together in a sentence now we focus on certain words when we are talking about the sentence for example my computer is broken now if you have listened to me the way i have said it my computer is broken i am focusing on computer and i am focusing on broken more than my and is i am focusing on these two words that is my computer is broken so my stress is on these particular words so that it the listener gets to know what i am exactly talking about the next example he said he has a dog not a cat whereas my focus is on particular word he said he has a dog not a cat so you can listen to some words that is said dog cat and not my focus is on these particular points so that the listener knows that i am talking about these points i am stressing on these important words now the words can be spoken in a different way by various individuals depending on many factors such as the way he has brought up or the duration of the cultural exposure to their childhood the country that he has brought in or the current residence his social class his ethnic group his friend circle so our accent or our pronunciation depends on that here is one clear cut example that you can see on the board in america we pronounce this particular fruit as tomato t tomato and whereas in british there is the pronunciation is tomato it is not tomato whereas you can hear a lot of people pronouncing it as tomato even here though we follow british pronunciation because of the english movies that we watch or because of the american english movies that we watch but it is actually tomato 
whereas we pronounce it as tomato americans pronounce it as tomato and there are certain words where there is a difference in pronunciation the american pronunciation and british pronunciation so let us have a look at these uh, words or such words one such word is v a s e we pronounce it the british pronunciation is vase whereas the american pronounce it as vase because we follow the british pronunciation we would be pronouncing it as vase whereas the americans would pronounce it as vase and the very common pronunciation o f t e n americans pronounce it as often whereas the british pronounce it as often the both the pronunciations are correct nothing is wrong but you can see how the countries or the group where you are in can actually influence your pronunciation and there is another word a l m o n d some pronounce it as almond the americans pronounce it as almond and british pronounce it as almond so this is about pronunciation there are various steps in we have to keep in mind while learning pronunciation there are few steps that you can see that we have to keep in mind when we are talking about pronunciation one common thing is ipa international phonetic alphabet which you have already learned which you have already learning so that is international phonetic alphabet second is listening listening to what someone is speaking or listening to what the other person is pronouncing is very very important and the third point is the movement of mouth and lips that is very very crucial when you are pronouncing the word now for example if i say w a t e r you can hear some of them saying water but the exact pronunciation is round your lips it is water the movement of your lips and mouth it is water and also the working of the tongue that is also very important you can hear people saying thank you but whereas the tongue has to actually come out a little when you say thank you you have to push your air out a bit and say thank you that's the correct pronunciation of thank you that is the working of the tongue the tip of the tongue has to touch the palate sometimes or the back of the tongue has to touch the back of your mouth or sometimes for some words it has to come out of your mouth so that is thank you stress and intonation stress we have already spoken about where you have to add certain stress for certain words and intonation is nothing but the rise and fall in the voice if i talk to you in the same voice or the same tone it will not grasp the interest or it will not give an interest to the listeners so there should be the rise and fall in a voice certain words will be having a rise and falls for example present or present you can see the difference in these words present means to be present and present is to give a presentation to someone so there is the rise and fall of those particular words and the last and the most crucial point is practice the important point is practice as they say practice makes a man perfect so whatever you are listening to the pronunciations that you are listening to you are supposed to practice now let us have a look at our next topic that is enunciation let us look at what is enunciation we have already finished pronunciation now let's move on to enunciation what is enunciation enunciation is the act of pronouncing the words correctly or clearly in sync with pronunciation enunciation helps us to utter words distinctively or clearly this ensures that the listener clearly identifies the spoken words and thus understand what is being told so whatever i am speaking if i clearly uh, make it a point to you you can understand what is being told now let us see what are the common enunciation problems that is dropping the g sounds most of us drop the g sounds we want to speak fast we want to finish our conversations fast so most of us what we do we drop our g sounds for example how are you doing now instead of how are you doing some of them say how are you doing that the other person who listens it is an incomplete sentence and they drop the g sounds for now it is more like to sound cool but then that is the wrong enunciation next blending words improperly now for example if i say going going to or if i say let me instead of saying going to i will say gonna that is blending the two words going to becomes gonna let me becomes lemme 
and uh, the what to becomes water so usually you can see uh, people using slangs like this but that is wrong enunciation and also speaking fast speaking quickly we go on speaking quickly as if you have to go and catch a train that is wrong enunciation we have to be very clear with words we have to be very crisp with our words and we have to make it a point that the word is spoken clearly and we speak slowly so that the other person can understand next is muttering that is speaking inside our breath sometimes what most of us do is because we don't want to communicate to the other person we will be speaking inside our breath that is muttering and the last one is mumbling what most of the students do in the class talking in a low voice and when the teacher is in the class that is also mumbling so that's the last uh, common enunciation problems that we have to practice enunciation tongue twisters are the best i will tell you one tongue twister you can keep on practicing it so that your enunciation becomes clear she sells seashells on the seashore so you keep on telling this see whether you can tell it clearly and fast she sells seashells on the seashore and there are a lot of tongue twisters that you can find on google and that you can practice and this makes your uh, enunciation correct now let us look at the difference between enunciation and pronunciation enunciation is nothing but saying a word clearly and concisely and pronunciation is nothing but saying the word clearly and also pronunciation is the act of simply producing a sound of the vowels and the consonants of a word without emphasis we do not concentrate on it much it can be right or wrong but enunciation is to identify and produce the specific sounds of the vowels and consonants properly it is nothing but pronunciation is like how you dance you can dance any which way and on the other hand how well you dance is and how well you execute that dance is nothing but enunciation now let us look at our last topic vocabulary what is vocabulary vocabulary is the knowledge of words and their meaning in every language vocabulary is essential to perform the basic skills of learning that is listening reading writing and speaking lsrw that is what we call so in every language vocabulary or the words that we use is very essential to perform basic life skills the use of correct word can actually convey the proper message it can help the listener to understand the proper message now if in case i use a wrong word or i use the wrong vocabulary there then there can be miscommunication or what i want to convey may be wrong so they might misconvey or misinterpret the meaning of that particular statement and the essence of that statement is lost because the word that i have used is totally different now building a good vocabulary is an essential skill that should be learned taken seriously and should be learned by all and it should be a part of everyone's learning now we may think how do we learn new words or from where do we get to see new words from where are we learning new words new words can be learned through daily activities so you need not just stick on to your textbook or you need not just stick on to what the teacher is saying but you can learn the words from your newspapers you can learn the words by reading different books you can watch a lot of television shows you can watch movies you can learn it from headlines of a newspaper or you can see the hoardings and learn the road signs and learn and you can see, learn new words copy down these words write down these words and try to practice it try to know the meaning of these words and then try to use it in your daily conversation it's not enough that you just learn these words and keep it there close your books and keep it there whereas you have to learn these words practice this words and learn the meaning of this words and use it in your day to day conversation now vocabulary building includes the following knowledge there are few things that we should know when we are building our vocabulary meaning of the words first thing is meaning of the words when you are learning the new word you should also know that what does that word means or what does that particular word mean you have picked up the word from somewhere and you're trying to use the word somewhere else 
without knowing the meaning of it then there is no point so you should know what is the exact meaning of that word the second thing is pronunciation the way in which the word is spoken or the way in which the word is uttered you should know what is the exact pronunciation of that particular word most of the times now that is google times where you can actually go google the words you can google the pronunciation of those words and you can practice it in your day to day life and the next one is synonyms what are synonyms it is different words which have similar or same meaning you can use those synonyms or you can use similar words when you are using a language so our next point is antonyms now what are antonyms it is different words with opposite meaning so now you might be knowing one particular word and you should know the opposite of that word as well so you will know the meaning of the word you will know the pronunciation of the word you will know the similar words are the same word and you will also know the opposite words and next let us look at homophones what are homophones words that are pronounced the same way but have different spellings and different meanings that is nothing but homophones words pronunciation is the same it has a different meaning but different spelling let me give you an example it's already on the board that is fair f a r e and f a i r what does f a r e mean it is the bus ticket or something that you're paying is nothing but fair and what is f a i r it can be a different meanings it can be fair complexioned one a uh, light complexioned one or it can be an exhibition or it can be good or bad that can be fair next sell s e l l and c e l l c e l l can be a battery or also can be a prison cell and s e l l is exchange of goods for money and next night and night n i g h t and k n i g h t night one night means the day of the part of the day that is at night and k n i g h t means a soldier the pronunciation is the same but it has different spellings and different meaning next let us look at homonyms what are homonyms homonyms have the same spelling same pronunciation but have different meaning the words look alike it has the same spelling it has the same pronunciation also but it has different meaning for example that's already given f a i r f a i r means there are three different uh, meanings for that f a i r one means a light complexioned one second it can mean good and the third one is exhibition fair we are going to the fair we are going to the exhibition f a i r next homographs what is homographs word that have the same spelling and different meanings and also have different pronunciation may or may not have different pronunciation those are homographs for example b o w you pronounce b o w as bow in terms of bow and arrow and b o w as bow when you are respecting a person the japanese bow so there is b o w bow and arrow bow and also there is a difference a slight difference in pronunciation for b o w bow and also minute and minute even the meaning of the word is different minute what we say is one minute and minute is nothing but tiny so there is a difference a slight difference in pronunciation but the spelling remains the same and the meaning is different now let's look at the last one that is heteronyms what are heteronyms heteronyms are the words that are spelled identically but have different meanings and different pronunciation altogether the spelling is the same but again the meaning is different the pronunciation can differ for example it's already put up in the board it is l e a d l e a d can be pronounced as lead and can also be pronounced as lead so lead has a different meaning and lead has a different meaning lead when you are trying to make give a direction or trying to follow someone guide someone that is lead led that is a metallic element that is lead it is pronounced though it is written as l e a d it is uh, pronounced as lead next r e a d we can pronounce it as red or it can be pronounced as read it has a different meaning altogether now here is one example of a sentence 
I love to read so much that I read all of the books. So you can see there is a difference in pronunciation, right? Also the difference in meaning. I love to read so much that I read all of the books. Difference in pronunciation, different in meaning, but the spelling is the same.